What is up, MFers? Welcome back to another exciting episode. I, ha I had to completely change things up today. You know, if you're in the Omaha area, the Nebraska, or the Midwest, or really just anywhere in the country right now where the water is super, super cold, and you're not catching anything at all, please do not feel discouraged by that. I'm, I'm definitely never gonna claim to be an expert of any sort, but I've probably been out like six or seven times now, and I think I've caught like seven or eight fish total. It has been brutally cold, but we're, we're completely mixing up today. We're gonna fish some lakes. We're fishing some, some really shallow sand pit style public ponds in, in hopes that I can potentially get that monkey off my back. I do a lot of fishing out here and I actually had a subscriber hit me up and say that the bite has been pretty good lately. So obviously that's why I'm absolutely here. Another reason I'm super jacked today is got my mystery tackle box pro box so we're gonna real quick do a little unboxing of this see what baits are in here tie some of them on and then we're gonna start slinging them around hopefully we can catch them no i've always known that, that everyone loves these mystery tackle boxes the pro box especially i, I think we're actually close to like 500 to a thousand mfers that have signed up using my promotion code but when i went to the classic this last week something really blew my mind that, that i thought was so freaking cool i think a lot of people have the misconception these are for like kids or something and don't get me wrong they're great for younger anglers that are trying to build up their arsenal but i had like 40 50 60 70 year old grown men that came to the booth and i was like hey have you heard of mystery tackle box they're like yeah i get mystery tackle box i'm subscribed to mystery tackle box freaking love it love getting my box every month and i, I don't blame it. it's it's literally it's a box of baits every single month you, you cannot go wrong and as in all my mystery tackle box videos if you go use the promo code milk m-i-l-k at checkout, you can save $10 off your very first box. So it helps the channel out, helps Mystery Tackle Box out, and most of all, it helps you out because you can build your arsenal, try some baits you never tried before. Let's check out what's in this month's Mystery Tackle Box. I got a couple of those baits tied up from past boxes that I really think will be the deal today, but uh, let's see what's in this one. Man, I really thought that there was like a picnic table, but apparently they haven't put them out yet. Makes total sense. It's, it's really, really cold. It's still basically winter, but let's take a look at what's in this box. Of course, the very first thing, you get the card that says what is inside your box along with the retail value. And it lets you know if it's a Ketchco exclusive bait, mystery tackle box bait you can't get anywhere else. First one up, the Hypo Tees. You guys know I love throwing swim baits. This guy is a big, sexy swim bait. I actually caught some fish on this when I was testing it for him. Really, really cool looking bait. Next one, Strike King Rage Tail Lizard. This guy, you know, Watermelon Red, the, the Mystery Tackle Box always seems to give you really, really well producing colors. Watermelon Red's always obviously a good one. Now, I don't throw lizards a whole lot this time of year, but once that water gets up in like the 50s into the 60s, I throw them two different ways. When the fish are staging up to spawn, when it's in the 50s, uh, getting up to 60, that first hard break, any type of hard cover, rock pile and stuff, these guys are dynamite on a Carolina rig or around the spawn. It's hard to beat a lizard, Texas rig, flipped around beds, just dragged anywhere you think a bed might be. If the water's too muddy to see them, lizards are the deal. Next one is a Ketchco flipping jig. So once again, this is an exclusive bait to Mystery Tackle Box. They give you a nice brown and black color. That's a, that's a great, great color. Uh, next one is a crankbait, the Ketchco Runt. Once again, another exclusive bait. Probably not gonna throw this one today. I threw it when we were testing it. I like the action on this. It's got like a really wide action, but that's why I'm not gonna throw it right now. It's 30 degrees today. The water's probably about 40 degrees. I want something with a really, really tight, natural shimmy action, um, but this is gonna be a killer. A lot of guys have been catching big fish on this in ponds. Cool little bait. It's totally different action than anything on the market I've seen. Next one up is the brush bands. I want to show you guys real quick how to use these things. But it actually spreads the weed guard out and makes a V. Um, so it keeps any type of little tiny strands of wood, brush pile, grass, whatever from getting on the hook a little bit better than your typical weed guard. So they're really, really cool. Plus I have another way I'll have to show you guys in the future that I like to use this on a wacky rig. Cool little bands. Got some Carl's stash pegs so you can peg your Texas rig weights. That's one thing, you know, there's a lot of Texas rig plastics in here I can see. Obviously, you're gonna need some stuff to throw Texas rigs. So pegs will peg that weight down. Uh, next one is the Ketchco Saw Craw. This is a really cool craw bait. It's kind of like a Rage Craw, but it has more appendages. It's got a lot more scent to it. It'll give you a really nice natural um, craw color on that. So I'm gonna tie that up on the flipping jig, get throwing that around some of these uh, isolated laydowns and stuff that are on this lake. Then one more thing, we have the Smart Baits Brute. So let me take these out of the package. These are kind of cool. I'm not really sure of the technology, and honestly, this is the type of bait I never would have picked up um, on the shelf, but it's kind of cool once you actually get it. This is what it is. So basically, it's just a little creature bait. It's gonna work great on that Texas rig. Supposedly, it changes colors based on the temperature of the water, but uh, 
who knows what's up with that. And that's everything. That's what I got in my box for the March box. As you can see, I got like 40 to $50 worth of tackle. I think it costs like $20 a month for a subscription of the Pro Box. Super, super good deal. So I got all these baits now. Plus I got some old ones. I got this one tied on. This is that Vicaro lipless um, crankbait that I got in last month's box. Super natural bluegill shiner looking profile. A lot of bluegill in these legs. So I got this dude tied on and then I stuck a hook in my finger and now I'm bleeding. It's fun. It's, how, it's about how today's gone so far. And of course I got a, a jerk bait tied on. It's cold. This is the Berkeley Cutter 110 Plus. Um, that's a bait that was in a pass box as well. So I got like all mystery tackle box baits tied on. It's time to shut up and go fish. Let's do it. All right, gonna start with this lipless bait. There's some shallow grass on this end of the lake. So I'm gonna get this guy bogged down, rip it up out of that stuff. Should be money. Okay, what did I just do? <laughs> I just, I believe that's a bass that I just snagged. Oh God, come back. There we go. That's a good one too. He must've just swiped at this lipless crankbait. <laughs> okay, we're, uh, we're on the board with the two pounder. Right in the top of the damn head. You guys are probably like, he just totally just snagged that off a of bed or something. I did not, that's a very, Solid fish, better than I've been doing. I switched up to this uh, the shad colored lipless weight because this water is super muddy over here. And uh, hey, found a fish, had one slap at it, and caught one. Sick, good start. What's up, man? Uh, what's up oh, pretty good. I just snagged one in the head. I'm pretty sure he swiped at it. So for those that are interested, this is how that uh, that brush band system works on any type of jig with a weed guard. So you take the whole brush band thing, you go all the way over the entire weed guard like that, and you ride it all the way down to the jig head. It's kind of hard to see because it's, uh, it's brown, the jig is brown, the jig head's black. And then you're gonna spread the weed guard apart. As you can see, I've already had this one done. And we're gonna come from behind. So grab the back part of that band back here and you're gonna pull it through. Got a little bit of skirt in there, that's not a problem though. We can just pull that guy off. And then we're gonna come and go over the entire head of the bait. And so what that guy does right there, you work him all the way down there. So as you can see, it makes a little V with the weed guard. And so what that's gonna do is it's not just gonna be protected from everything that hits it in the front, whether that be grass or, or, or brush or whatever, but anything that deflects, um, it's close to it at all. But being more spread out like that, it's gonna help it get through beaver dams, stuff like that a lot, lot better. So really, really like this product, really cool idea. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. I just ripped this up off the bottom and a bass absolutely tried to crush it. Think they like the old saw crawl. Let's, uh, let's catch that one now. All right, guys, we moved to a new lake with my dude Dylan over here. And uh, yeah, the lake number one we were at was not so good, but this one's really, really small. I actually shot that the frog video here later this summer and uh, there was a lot of fishing here, a lot of frog blow ups. Not so much uh, frog fishing today with the 40 degree water, but we feel like it's a good chance to catch one. You know, there's not a, not a lot of area to cover here. We can cover a lot of it anyways. I don't know, it, it rained a lot last night. We're not really sure why it's so tough right now, but hey, at least I got one. That's more than I've caught on several trips this, this year so far. So we're gonna keep trucking along. You know you're from Nebraska. That's right. When you've got Winchester shots. <laughs> All right, guys, we are at the last lake, the last resort. This is the third one we fished today. And this is gonna be it. This is where we're gonna drop the hammer. We only got about 30 minutes left. It's been a rough day, just like every freaking day this spring. And we're gonna catch them here. That's what's gonna happen. We're gonna, we're gonna catch a whole bunch of fish here and it's gonna be a great video. That is exactly what's gonna happen. Let's go. I'm gonna tie a different lipless on, I think. That must be the problem. I got the wrong bait on. Maybe if I just switch my bait up 35 more times, I'll catch something. That's what you want. You don't want to have your bait in the water. You want to be changing lures the entire time. That's how you catch more. Proven fact. Are you fucking kidding me. 
damn it. Well, f this, I'm leaving. This is terrible. All right, guys, welcome back to day two of it's really cold outside and I'm trying to fish and catch something in Nebraska anyway. Had about an hour of time today before I go pick Max up from school, so apparently I'm sneaking on to golf course ponds and other types of ponds to do a little bit of fishing. My uncle actually lives here and said I could fish here, so hopefully it won't get kicked out. I've never fished here before, but we got a little pond. It's been pouring rain all day and it was supposed to let up, but as you can see, probably it's misting and the lens is probably wet, so sorry about that. Literally only brought one rod, uh, one box of baits, my lipless crankbait. Got my 611 six cents moderate rod. I freaking, I love this thing so far, so hoping I can catch something on it. Maybe, maybe a duck, I don't know. I don't even know if there's fish in here. And it is muddy, but whatever. Nasty, that looks gross. Yeah, I do got a flip down there once or twice though. I can see bluegill there. Should have done some micro fishing. All right, new lake. This one's gonna be fire. Gotta be, right? No, okay. Holy green water, what is this? What the hell? I just caught a freaking goldfish. Orange baits catch orange fish, right? I'm, I'm so confused right now. I'm bass fishing and I caught this ugly goldfish. Someone must have let their pet go. Um, yeah, I, I guess I let the goldfish go. I don't even know if he tried to eat it. I'm pretty sure I just snagged it. Snagged a goldfish. Jesus. All right, moving on. Uh, so far, we've hit two lakes now. We've uh, we snagged one goldfish with our orange, goldish, lipless crankbait. And that's it. We got one more pond, and then I'm giving up for this video. Okay, lake number three. This one's got to be good because it has a fountain. Once again, never fished here before, but I think I maybe heard that there's fish in this one. I know it's not private, so that's good, I guess, but uh, I'm like desperate to catch one. Uh, there's donuts here at least. I mean, maybe we were on a donut pattern. Maybe? No, I'm stupid. Okay. All right, this one's like a straight up Google Earth special stairs going down to it. Here, yeah, try to keep things on the down a little, little bit with this one. Maybe not be too hot. I literally have like seven minutes until I need to pick Max up from school, so, you know, push it to the limit. Typical. Talk about no idea if there's fish in it. This is like the smallest lake in North America. Hey, a fish got scared. That's cool. A sign of life. Minus the slime. Slime is pretty gross. But a fish did just get scared when I pulled that slime up. I'll take it. There we go. A fish. Oh man, it's not even a small one. Oh man, are you kidding me? Yes. Oh my god, I actually caught another one. I cannot freaking believe it. And that's like a really solid one. He isn't in the healthiest fish in the world. Look how he choked. That freaking six inch snatch. He likes the snatch. Oh my God, I'm literally, my alarm's gonna go off any second. There it is right there to pick up Max. And this guy freaking got it deep. This guy back in the water. Another one. <laughs> okay, I think I found where the fish are in this little pond. God, I gotta go get Max. Oh, see you later, bud. All right, one, one more cast. That was supposed to be the last cast. <gasps> there was another one. Okay, I gotta get Max. We're definitely coming back here, though. We found the mother load. I was seriously, like, about to be done fishing. And now I have one minute. The Max at school is, like, on the other side of the hill. And I have one minute before I need to pick him up. That is unbelievable. This much persistence. That's literally, what, like the seventh lake I've fished in this video? Finally found some. All right, I'm going to get him. We're coming back here for about 10 minutes. I'm going to have him reel some of these in. All right, we got Max from school, guys. And he's a little green on the bait caster. So 
I'm going to cast it for him, and then he's going to hook them, reel them in, retrieve them in, do, what, do whatever he can. But uh, I can't believe we finally found this. There, there's like some runoff coming in. It's been raining all day, so I'm thinking that's why. Like, I fished the whole pond, but every fish I've seen is like right, right there. So we're going to try to hook a couple. Yeah, you almost can. There you go. Get him. Real man. Real, real, real. Max hooked up. Keep reeling, bud. Keep reeling. You got a reel. That's a good one. Let me get him for you. Dude, nice one. That's the fire spot right there. He freaking ate it deep too, didn't he? All right, we better take a picture and send it to mom. Nice catch, man. All right, are you throwing them back or me? You. Me? Get a release on this dude. Hell yes. Dude, give me some. Did I find the fire spot or what? Yeah. Okay guys, just got back to the house. Back in the garage now because it started pouring rain. But thank God, Max and I finally found a lake with some fish. Literally took like seven different lakes before I found one with some fish and then I caught them on that little six inch, six cents snatch lipless crankbait. Lipless crankbait's obviously awesome this time of year, but especially right now because the water's muddy and cold it's about one of the only options you can go with and i was throwing it on that 611 rod and i i hate short rods and i'm somehow just in love with this 611 rod but i'll link everything i use in the video down below and of course i'm going to be giving away like i do in every mystery tackle box video my mtb pro box but real quick before i tell you guys how you can be entered to win that for me and max uh just want to thank you guys officially for the hundred thousand subscribers we just went over a hundred thousand this last week and it's just like it's mind-blowing that that many people would support us follow us uh, with this channel it's been an amazing last year and a half running this channel but i'm not going to make a big reaction video or anything to it because i feel like honestly it's just the start because the hundred thousand subscriber is just as important as the ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine subscriber and my first subscriber and everything else in between and i feel like we have a long ways i feel like i'm just getting started with this but Genuinely, thank you for me and Max for uh, for watching and subscribing to these videos. It's 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 mind blowing that you can actually make a living doing some fishing like this. But like I said, anyways, let's give away this mystery tackle box pro box. So the way you can win this box right here that I unboxed in this video, the way you can win is three steps: go like this video, go subscribe to Melican Fishing, and then I want you guys to comment a lure that you would like to see me do a challenge video or just use moving forward in a future video. That's it. Three steps. Like, subscribe, comment down below any lure that you would like to see me use. And one week from now, I'm going to use a random comment generator. Go down, pick one of you guys out, make sure you're subscribed to Melican Fishing, and I will ship that box, that Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box, off to you. Once again, if you want to sign up for Mystery Tackle Box, get $10 off your first box, so you can just go try it for $10 off. Use the promo code MILK, M-I-L-K. Supports them, supports me, and most importantly, it helps you get some more awesome baits to your house every single month. But I'm gonna keep grinding. This is uh, super cold weather, but it only can go up from here. Really, really tough, but uh, so glad we actually got some to go on like the seventh lake that I fished in this video. But thank you guys so much for watching this. I'll catch you guys very, very soon. I'm out of here. Peace. I'm not sorry. I can't help this love like mine. <laughs> I'm not sorry. I can't stop with a love like mine.